In school, he's keen to help others learn. Outside of class, he's eager to make them laugh. 26-year-old school teacher Herbert Suguja is also one of Kampala's rising comedians. He's built a following with his comic impersonations. I started from mimicking other people. That's when I got the talent of mimicking. A talent that's now largely aimed at the political elite, especially Ugandan President Yoweri Museveni. So from there I just started mimicking the president because I thought he was my best. I could easily be uh, mimicked uh, or imitated. From the expressions and voice... I'm not chairman. Thank you. <laughs> ...to the stance and clothing, Saguja became well-versed in all things Museveni. He has got uh, unique trademarks, for example, uh, uses his hat as the president, he uses his hat, then he has got this, he has got uh, some bit of stammering when he's speaking to people, then he has got the trademark of having this hand at this side, then the way he stands, he doesn't stand like, uh, he stands in a, everything is just fun about him, then the widening of the eyes, something like that, then the use of Managing. Funny business that he takes very seriously. In a country with a history of dictatorship and different standards on free speech, ribbing the country's leaders might be considered risky. People should have love for their country and people should have love for, for Africa. Yeah, I was a bit worried and people used to ask me that, they used to tell me that if the president gets you, if a human will be imprisoned, a human will be done this because uh, I tried to perform on some functions, but people could not even allow me because they thought that it's, it's offending the president. How can you imitate the president? Uganda is the part of Africa. But he calls it flattery, not mockery, especially since he's an avid supporter of Museveni. In the end, only one opinion really matters to Saguja. So nerves were running high when he finally got the chance to perform for Museveni himself at a recent political gathering. <laughs> the president was so amused he had to wipe away tears from laughing so hard. So I answer, when I performed before him, I think I answered a million questions. For those who are saying that, have you ever met the president? The man will imprison you by seeing, by looking at you. But it was good. They, I finally made it, and he's extremely happy. That's why I performed for more than two functions. At the end of the 10-minute sketch, a handshake solidified to Guja's place. He's in demand now across Kampala, collecting nearly $900 a month to perform his famous impressions, including new acts that mimic Zimbabwean President Robert Mugabe and U.S. President Barack Obama. A passion Saguja hopes to take far, imitating others and finding his own success.